So with the release of the trailer for Doom the Dark Ages, the footage shows a bunch of medieval type of weapons, also with being able to control the Atlan mechs to battle against the Titan demons, something that's been requested a lot in Doom Eternal. There's also the stage that lets you fly on a dragon, and along the way, you'll encounter various new types of enemies. There's some information on the Bethesda website about this game, and here's what it says. Vile forces push a kingdom to the brink, fangs gnashing. Their fury is emboldened by the flames of hell's own malevolence. No mortal blade cuts their masses down. No bulwark stays their advance. No army dares match them in the battlefield. But you will. You are the super weapon primed to destroy evil. For when hell is at the gates, the doom slayer answers. Stand as the unrelenting champion against evil in Doom the Dark Ages, a single-player action FPS epic like nothing id Software has made before. Prepare for battle in 2025 when Doom the Dark Ages arrives on Game Pass, Xbox Series X slash S, PC, and PlayStation 5. Wage war as one man matched against Hell's legions in a dark fantasy setting expanding the Doom universe. Witness the origin of the Slayer's rage in his rise from a kingdom's last hope to Hell's greatest fear in this pulse-pounding cinematic prequel to Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Go medieval on battalions of demons, made up of all new threats as well as familiar foes reforged from Doom's classic bestiary. Bring their malicious forces to heal with heavy duty shooter combat in a heroic story of epic proportion, powered by the latest id tech engine. Blast, bludgeon, bisect, and break through the enemy ranks using the Slayer's superhuman strength, lethal arsenal, and unmet tenacity. Supplement your trusty super shotgun with the Dark Ages new weaponry, including the face shattering flail and revved up throwable shield saw. Inspired by the original Doom in 1993, players overcome the odds in the Dark Ages in firmly grounded, heavy hitting clashes featuring destructible demons, vicious melee strikes, and more. With the right combination of ranged bombardment and melee aggression, anyone stepping into the Slayer's boots will make hell quiver in theirs. Doom, the Dark Ages, Cosmic scale conflict calls for the heaviest ordnance possible, and the Slayer heeds. Enter the cockpit of your Atlan, a daunting skyscraper sized mech capable of toppling Hell's behemoths with titanic metal fists, and reclaim the skies aboard the Slayer's Mecha Dragon, strapped to the jaws with jet engines and overwhelming firepower. The game is going to be on Game Pass. Xbox Series X slash S, PlayStation 5, and PC in 2025. Now for PC, the system requirements are not listed yet. There is an article over on Eurogamer.net and it says this, Doom The Dark Ages will serve as a prequel to 2016's Doom and Doom Eternal. It is described as a single player action FPS that tells the epic cinematic origin story of the Doom Slayer's rage, and of course, it is being developed by id Software. And over on the website Polygon.com, they have this, Doom The Dark Ages is a medieval spin on the Doom franchise, taking the Slayer back to the beginning. And over on the Steam page, it says this about the game, Doom The Dark Ages is the single-player action FPS prequel to the critically acclaimed Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. You are the Doom Slayer, the legendary demon-killing warrior fighting endlessly against Hell. Experience the epic cinematic origin story of the Doom Slayer's rage in 2025. The details about the lore are very small for now. All we know is that it's a prequel story taking place before Doom 2016. So it might be telling parts of history when the Slayer teamed up with the Sentinels to battle against the demons. Along with the story of when some Sentinel warriors would side with the Khan Maker, they would go against the throne they swore to protect. 
Those sentinel warriors who fell in battle have sided with the makers were ultimately denied finality in death. Resurrected by the divinity machine of maker design, these fallen sentinels were returned from the dead, transformed by hell's power and recreated with a single purpose, to hunt the slayer, now reborn as knights in hell's army. So the enemies that look like sentinels in the trailer could be the ones that sided with the con maker before they were reborn as marauders later on in the story. Anyways, that's all the information I have for you. When I find more, I will update you. Thanks for watching.